Hello, welcome back again to another video on Caden Live. So in this video, we want to look at what is the differences between saturation and vibrance. The only thing we have to know is both of them increase the color contrast to make it more vivid. So here in Caden Live, when you go to color and image correction, and you scroll down here, uh, you can see we have the saturation here and we have the vibrance so when do we use the vibrance and when do we use the saturation or when do we use both of them to begin with first let's demonstrate using a photo editor so here in this photo editor uh, you can see we have some color already here standing out and that is the yellow the skin tone of this um, model here and also the hair and the background here is kind of a like light blue so to increase the color contrast or to make it more vivid in this image and we want to apply that to all the colors in the image we are going to use saturation that is to say saturation increase the color contrast of the image all the colors that are present in an image so let's go here to the adjustment here and in the saturation when we increase this you can see we're increasing all the colors in the image so we crank it up to 100 you can see it's become more vivid all the colors that is the background the uh, code here the skin tone and also the hair we are increasing the contrast or the color intensity up so it's become more vivid and eye catchy so here is the original and here is the one with saturation so now let's bring the saturation back to zero now let's look at the vibrance now vibrance only look at those colors that are less intense and then try to increase that up to make it a little bit more vivid so here in the skin tone here you can see it's nicely already there but we just want to give a little bit more vibrant to the skin tone and also the coat here this one is more contrast a little bit there already and the background so what we want to say is vibrant look at less contrast area or less colored area and try to increase that up to make it more a little bit vibrant to those colors already become vibrant so with that say here in the vibrant uh, when we crank this up you can see there's no much big difference but you can see those color for example here you can see when we crank it up you can see the blue a little bit more giving more vivid the raincoat here more vivid and the facial here but you can see the skin tone is still intact there but a little bit slight uh, increasing of the skin tone and you can see the color of the eyes here so here is the original and here is when we apply the vibrance to it so if you want to use uh, only vibrance this is what it's going to look like or if you want to use only saturation this is how it's going to look like but we can use both of them so let's increase the saturation a little bit not to make it more vivid and then increase the vibrance up so you can see we still preserve the skin tone and the colors here but we're just trying to balance it with the saturation and vibrance so with this principle uh, let's jump into Caden Life okay so here in Caden Life uh, we have this video so the color space of this um, video is shot in uh, BT601 so we go to the effects and then under the image adjustment look for color space and add this on and then select the image and in the color properties change this to bt601 out of this so we just select one of that and once we have that now let's first test with the saturation so go to the effects pedal again and under the color and image correction scroll down here in Caden life and you can see you have the saturation effects here so simply apply that and now when we crank this up you can see again saturation tends to look at all the colors in the image and increase the color uh, intensity so it's kind of becoming more vivid as more colors having 
uh, more color already there for example the pink here is more color the green here and this one will be more vivid and those one with less color will be less vivid so let's increase the saturation and you can see as we increase up those colors that already been vivid uh, tends to be more vivid the co intensity is very high and those colors with less um, intensity tends to come follow that so again with saturation it increased the intensity of all the colors in an image okay so with that let's just uh, mute this one or hide this um, effect here and let's apply the vibrant again the vibrant look at those colors already being uh, in a uh, vivid here for example the pink flower here the petal and then the green already being vivid so it's not going to add more to that but it will add more to less area like for example this is the um, new flower shoot here the stock and the background so here we have the vibrant in Caden Life is a little bit more advanced by brand, so you have to know how to use that. The intensity here is to increase the color lightings on the um, video itself or the image itself. And then we have the red channel balance to balance the red in all the video, the green balance to balance the green in the video, and the blue balance to balance the blue in the video. And then the red luma is adding the red light or the red, red color to it, and similar to these other ones here so let's um increase the intensity a little bit like that which is adding more light without changing any colors but then we can add a little bit of red in we can add a little bit of green in because we have the red and green the blue uh, we just leave it as that is and then in the red channel i just increase the red a little bit up like that and then the green a little bit up like that and then when we increase the intensity you can see the effects that having on the and you can use the channel here to do that the red and green channel and you can see we increase the color to make it more pop out and make it more intense as it's uh, increasing the color and then when we add the intensity you can see it's a little bit more there so depending on how you use this uh, you can either add the saturation or vibrance or you can use both of them again so let's just unhide the saturation and you can see this is more vivid so let's just bring this one a little bit down like this and making our more color a little bit vivid like that okay so there you go that's how we can use the saturation and vibrance right here in Caden life so vibrance look at those colors that are less intense and increasing up uh, more and then increasing a little bit of those colors that already are uh, intense okay so let's um enjoy this video if you do please subscribe if you have not done so and that will be a big help for us and uh, thank you again for watching